Now it's about to get real. You want to start laying out all of your parts for your project. And to do that, you need to draw a bunch of shapes, AKA vectors. So right over here, you can create vectors. And for a project like this, we're going to create a really simple vector, a rectangle. So we're going to click on create rectangle and then move over to the workpiece and draw a rectangle. Now in this software, you don't have much control with the mouse just drawing. So don't worry too much about drawing the perfect rectangle. Instead, just draw a shape and then come over here to the parameters and set the size. Let's say we want it to be 15 inches wide and 12 inches tall. Then I'm going to use the scroll reel to zoom in. I'm going to grab this corner right here and I'm going to move over three grids and up three grids. So I'm going to be three quarters of an inch away from the edge of the material. I do that because I'm going to cut these parts out with a quarter inch bit and that'll leave a half inch ring around the outside of my workpiece. And I need that so that I can clamp the workpiece down to the CNC table. The next thing I like to do is I like to label things. So I'm going to go over here to the T for text. I'm just going to type the word bottom because this is is going to be the bottom of my subwoofer box. Now it's a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to go over here to transform and scale, and I'm going to make it about six inches wide. Now later, if I want to, I can use the CNC machine to cut the word bottom into the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is grab that part, hit control C to copy, control V to paste, and I'm going to make a part that's the exact same size that's gonna be my top. I'm gonna to lay out all these pieces off camera because it takes a few minutes to do that and it's kind of boring to watch. 